Welcome back. It's a pretty bad day, you know? I just need a little pick-me-up. So I asked my mom, like, hey mom, can we go to McDonald's? Like, I'm kind of hungry. And she's like, we have food in the fridge. You see, whenever she says that, I just don't check. And I usually end up eating, like, a box of Cheez-Its or something. But today, I decided to actually see if moms are correct when they say that there's food in the fridge. So she told me, Mary, go in the kitchen where you belong and go try to find something. So I was like, okay, let's go see, let's see. What the fuck? This is what we came up with. Uh, we found some, I don't know what the fuck that is. It's like some stringy lettuce, some nice old broccoli, some raw ass chicken, some Mexican and pizza flavored cheese, and a ton of spices because we like to spice it up. We're just gonna have to work with this. Okay, let's let's get going. Another Mary. <laughs> it's not even pointed at you. Mom. I don't care. I don't want it on. It's not even. I pointed. can see. It's, it's not sorry. even pointed at you. My mom's camera shy. And since you're all here, I thought this would be a nice opportunity to just give you like a quick life update. You know, like just like what's going on. It is currently May nineteenth, which means that I'm almost done with school, almost done with freshman year, which has been, for lack of better words, a complete fucking mess. So getting to that point in the year for some people where they just don't try anymore. But for me, I've been at that point the entire year. My grades are slipping. This broccoli is rotten. I'm trying it as best as I can, but things just don't really work out for me. Like, life always finds a way to, like, mess things up for me. But, you know, I just work with what I got. It's fine. Also, this knife is really sharp, and I'm scared I'm going to cut myself. I mean, big things are going to happen this summer um, for this channel. I'm planning on doing, like, like a series with a few of my friends. You know, it's like a bucket list series, I guess, where we, like... Um, each episode we like cross something off of our like summer bucket list something we've always wanted to do Oh my god, Mary literally no one cares Shut the fuck up Shut up. No one cares Also um, This summer I get to go to Canada Which is really cool. No one gives a fuck about Canada. It's literally the most boring country in the world. They have nothing there. What, like, what the fuck? All they have is maple syrup. Shut the fuck up and get cooking. Do you need to wash broccoli? We'll be fine. Um, we're gonna try some of these. Don't try that at home, kids. Time for chicken. Is this how you do it? Do people actually eat this? Now I really understand where vegetarians are coming from. Okay, well, bon appetit. If I lick this, will I get salmonella? No. No. Mary, literally, you're such an idiot. Why the fuck do you- why do these thoughts pop in your head? Don't fucking- oh, oh god. Oh god. Uh, uh, bad idea, bad idea. Uh, 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 uh. <gasps> oh look, it makes a heart. 
Fuck you, chicken strips. Oh, why am I doing this? Are you supposed to like cut this off? What is this part of the chicken? What the? F why is it stretching? Oh my god. Ooh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. You guys can have this. I don't want it. It literally looks like something a smoker would cough up. Don't vape, kids. I heard that to properly tenderize the chicken, you have to like slap it. So, that's what we're gonna do. It's very thick. Literally skinny legend. Literally skinny legend. Hope you enjoyed my food porn. Was that cool? Okay, well, I'm gonna try something a little dangerous here. You know that thing where like you put like like the like the professional chefs like put oil in the pan and they like light it on fire and like it looks really cool. You know, yeah, we're gonna try that right now. I'm literally gonna like burn my face off. Like I literally feel like that's exactly what's gonna happen. Whoa. Can we just pause here and just like literally appreciate like how stupid I am and appreciate that like I'm still alive like this long. Like I don't understand how I'm still alive. Literally I'm trying to fucking light some oil on fire and see if it will burn my face off. I- How, how am I alive? Okay I just want to say that. Okay. Goodbye. It's literally not even working, it's not fun. Really watch, watch. I'm like highly disappointed that that didn't happen. I'm so proud of myself, but I don't really know how long to cook it until it's not raw or like what it looks like when it's not raw. So we're gonna have, I'm just gonna guess. We're gonna guess like 10 minutes. This guy has boobs. No fucking point. We pop out at your party. Okay, well, the timer went off, but the chicken is, it's, um, still very much, um, at risk for salmonella. Cook it for another 10 minutes. Shut the fuck up. Oh, shit. Oh, I really just burnt my chicken. Like, literally to a crisp. Ah, ah. No, oh, shit. Mom, it's, it's not good, Mom. Okay. Oh, my God. Ready to put? Oh shit! Shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh well, the oven is on fire. I'm just, now, um, in case let sit. Okay, now that the chicken has been resting, I guess it's a good time to check and see if it's all the way cooked through. Um. I think you used like a thermometer for it. Okay, found the thermometer. Okay, well it blinks green, so I think that must mean that it's ready. I mean, it's like literally black, but it's fine. Here's the final product. I think it did pretty good. 
And like, I don't claim to be Gordon Ramsay, but look at that shit. Look at that. If you don't put Cholula on it, is it even food? No. Um, okay. Um, well, first thoughts. It, like, Gordon Ramsay who? Hello? I don't claim to be Gordon Ramsay, but, like, this shit, this literally slaps. Like, honestly, I should open up a restaurant, like, right now, right this second. One thing that I would do differently, um, well, the chicken kind of tastes a bit like, um, old nail polish. Like, I'm not even joking. Literally, if you smell nail polish, that's what the chicken tastes like. So, like, I'm kind of concerned that I, like, you know, like, poison myself right now. Like, maybe I have salmonella. I mean, we'll figure out in a few days. I'm, like, I'm proud of this. So, like, mom, I'm sorry. Because you have to go through this literally every night. Literally, like, thank you so much for making this. I literally, this was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. For all you people out there saying that, oh, my mom told me that to go eat stuff from the fridge, like, there's food in the fridge. There is. Just find it and make it. And you could end up with something as beautiful as whatever this fucking mess is. So, in conclusion, your mom is right, okay? Just literally get your ass down to the fridge and go make something. It's not even that hard. If I can do it, you can do it. Like, I don't claim to be, like, literally Gordon Ramsay would look at this shit and be like, Mary, this is the best thing I've ever seen. How did you do this? Literally, like, please, like, you're better than me. Take my spot. That's exactly what he would say if you were here right now, because this is literally the best thing I've ever had, you know? Like, look at that. Bye, guys.